Hey guys, welcome back to Berenses Math Club. Today we'll be learning about zero and negative exponents and what exactly they are and their properties. Let's go ahead and start with the basics of exponents. We all know that whenever you have exponents, you're going to have a base and an exponent. For example, let's say we have 2 to the power of 3. In this case, 2 is the base and 3 is the exponent. 2 to the power of 3 means that we have to take the base, which is 2, and multiply it by itself 3 times because 3 is the exponent. So let's go ahead and find the value that we get when we do 2 times 2 times 2. 2 multiplied by itself 3 times gives us the product of 8 because 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, which is 8. Now let's say that we have 2 to the power of 2. We're going to use the same concept. So 2 multiplied by itself twice. So 2 times 2 gives us 4. Now let's say we have 2 to the power of 1. A property of exponents is that any number to the power of 1 is that number itself. So 2 to the power of 1 is 2. If, this num if the base would have been, let's say, 1 million to the power of 1, the answer would have been 1 million itself, because any number to the power of 1 is that number. Now let's say we have 2 to the power of 0. The zero exponent's property is that any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So if we have 2 to the power of 0, it's going to equal 1. If this number, once again, was 1 million to the power of 0, it would have still equaled 1. Now, if you examine these values closely, there's a pattern that is within these exponents. We saw that 2 to the power of 3 was 8, 2 to the power of 2 was 4, 2 to the power of 1 was 2, and 2 to the power of 0 was 1. If you take the base and divide all of the values by the base, you will see the pattern. So 8 divided by the base, which is 2, gave us 4. 4 divided by 2 gave us 2. 2 divided by 2 gave us 1. And that's where 2 to the power of 0 equals 1. That's how it makes sense because it follows a specific pattern. That's why any number to the power of 0 always equals 1. So this is the zero property of exponents. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the negative exponents. Let's say we have 3 to the power of 4. Let's make a line here so that we don't get confused. Okay, so we have 3 to the power of 4, which we know would be 3 multiplied by itself 4 times, which will give us 81. Let's say we have 3 to the power of 3, which we know would be 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. 3 to the power of 2 would be 9. 3 to the power of 1 would be 3 because any number to the power of 1 is that number itself. 3 to the power of 0 follows the zero exponents property and we know any number to the power of 0 is 1. Now let's say that we have 3 to the power of negative 1. Now we see that 3 to the power of 1 is positive 3. Remember that any number when it is to the power of a negative exponent you're simply going to take that base and multiply it with the whole number. So for right now, let's just forget about the negative sign. So let's just think that we have 3 to the power of 1. And we know that 3 to the power of 1 is 3. So it's going to be 3. But since it's a negative exponent, it's going to be 1 over 3. That means whenever you have a negative exponent, you're going to do it just as you would if it was just normal positive exponent. But instead, it would be 1 over whatever the value you get. So 3 to the power of negative 1 is 1 over 3. If we have 3 to the power of negative 2, it would be 1 over 9. 3 to the power of negative 3 would be 1 over 27. And lastly, 3 to the power of negative 4 would give us 1 over 81. Now if you examine these, there's also a pattern here. So 3 to the power of 4 is 81, and 3 to the power of negative 4 is 1 over 81. 3 to the power of 3 is 27, 
and 3 to the power of negative 3 is 1 over 27. 3 to the power of 2 is 9. 3 to the power of negative 2 is 1 over 9. And then we have 3 to the power of 1, which is 3, and then 3 to the power of negative 1, which is 1 over 3. So I'm pretty sure you get the concept by now. And remember that 0 is neither positive nor negative. So it cannot be 1 over 1, of course, because that'd still be 1. So 3 to the power of 0 is always going to be 1, just like if the base was any other number, anything to the power of 0 is 1. So this is it for this video on zero negative exponents. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you guys next time. Bye.